Right, hopefully you've managed to upload the Guzzy Diag to your laptop and you're able to open it up. You need to collect, connect into here and when you originally do it on preferences for the RSV4 and Tuono, you need to change the motorcycle to the California 1400. This enables you to get the correct bits that you need for your bike. So, this is how it's connected up. You've got the if you have the cables, you need to connect the red to the positive, black to the negative, and this is the actual cable that you need to connect it to. It has this little uh, cover on the cable, and it's right at the back here. These are all your lights for the um, brake lights, indicators, uh, and so forth. I don't run those because it's a track bike, but uh, this is the little one you need to hook it up to. It's got the uh, blue, blue and white wire in the sort of pinky kind of colour and the black. It's not difficult to find, as I say, it's got the cap on. So once you manage to get into that, presumably on the Tuono, well, you just take the seat off and you should be able to get easy access to there. That's then hooked up. If you've got the right cable, it should have a little red light showing that powers, powers on. That then goes down to your USB, into your laptop, and then you should have this good to go. So if we go to file and then we connect, uh, it says, please switch on the ignition, then press OK. So, ignition's on. You hear the little whir. And then press OK. Once this is loaded up, you'll see all this ECU information here. This one here, the 13A9A M114, that's the map. I think that's the latest uh, race map that there is for the Tuono. So I now I've got that. So you're always aware of what map you have. I'm by no means an expert on Guzzy Diag, but before we go any further, this is obviously free to download off the internet, but you really should be donating to the guy who does this, because he does a pretty good job and he's saving you loads of money in the process. So there's this little donate button here, if you click on that it takes you to PayPal, hopefully you've got PayPal, ping him a few dollars, ping him a few quid, euros, whenever you use it, because to be fair, this is saving you an absolute fortune from a dealer. So on these little drop down menus here, you've got things like uh, RPM, uh, if I started the bike up, which I'm not going to do because there's no water in the radiator and so forth, it'll tell you what revs uh, it's running at at the moment. But there's also other things you can do like the throttle position, uh, how much the um, th throttle's open, things like that. You can have a play around with those and see which, which each one's do. Um, I see this one's the throttle position, uh, I think, at the moment. But what we really want to do is we want to learn how to do the actual handling learning. So I'll just show you what some of these other ones are as well. Uh, if, I tell you, if we go to actors first of all, this, this is what we need, we need to be. The engine has to be off, which it is. If you press all these things, you know it's working. Because if you press the fuel pump, you can hear my fuel pump whirring. So you know that it's doing bits and bobs. You can touch that, get the rev canter to do its thing. But these are what you need, the throttle learning and the handle learning. Uh, basically, uh, it doesn't matter, I can do it again, but if I go to throttle learning here, you should be able to go it through its checks. Boom, that's your throttle learning done. So, I'll oh, just switch that off because it's done it. So presumably that saves it to the ECU. But we'll just connect this back up again. I make no apologies for my screensaver. So we'll just connect it up to it again, switch the ignition on, press OK. So if we go to view, once we're in, if we go to faults, for example, uh, this would check, uh, if we ask it to read, uh, this is some previously uh, stored faults or old faults. So obviously I've just put this in. I know that the, uh, my dash has got the spanner on it because it's a newish dash and it's uh, due um, to have a service, even though it's done a lot more miles than, than what it says. However, these are your stored faults, um, which are old faults here, and new faults, so uh, if you've got any new ones in there, then you can clear them with this. So we've obviously read it, and then if we go to the clear, we can clear any faults, but there aren't uh, any, any uh, faults. I'm aware of all my faults on my bike. And, but obviously, before you're getting rid of any faults, on the bike, you need to actually know what they are, because there's no point in clearing your faults and then finding out that um, your your bike's going to break and not work once you're out on it. So it's fine clearing faults, but you need to know what they are and make sure that they're all uh, in order. I think a lot of people are getting the um, issues with the oil pressure sensor uh, that's faulty, which is like a 
twenty dollar sort of fifteen pound part, which is uh, down at the bottom underneath the or behind the oil radiator. I think a lot of people are getting those. I'll put a link on here to show all the um, fault codes that are in the manual. They do come up on the dash as well. Um, you can go into the menu settings and put the service code in and clear the faults from there as well. But the main thing we're here to is just do the uh, handling, learning uh, and so forth. There are some other bits on here that I don't really use. Um, you can do some other bits as well, but they're the main things that you need to know about this uh, program. So hopefully by now you've got your new ECU uh, or race ECU, you've put it in, you've done the handle learning, you don't need to take it to the dealer, that saves you, you know, 50 quid or however much. The only other thing is with this, it is a good bit of kit and I'm sure he wants to improve it. However, this, this part here is your CLF ECU. This is what um, the ECU for all the traction control uh, and bits on your bike. It's in a slightly, di slightly different place on the RSV4. I think it's down here. Uh, Guzzy Diag at the moment does not allow you to clear any faults from there. So if you do have any faults in relation to your CLF ECU, Guzzy Diag can't clear them uh, at the moment. Hopefully it will in the future. But I think that's pretty much it. If anyone's got any questions uh, or anything I need to add, just let me know and I'll, I'll add it to this. But hopefully you'll be able to save yourself a few pounds. So good luck with that.